a positive force in in the community that so badly needed it. Well, you know the the other thing too is the the suspect who was arrested. I mean, this this guy was was literally run out of L.A. from what what I'm understanding because everyone was looking for him. Yes, and and, and actually, um, two of his family members were killed in the process as well. Yeah, so I mean, this this thing just had ramifications, you know, all over the place. And so, you know, this and see, and these are the types of things that take a community that's already struggling a long time to to move past. You know, when you when you have someone that was had the status of Nipsey Hussle and was doing the things that he was doing. And then you have this type of tragedy and then the aftermath. I mean, even when you looked at the vigil they had for him the following night, uh, just the 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 uh, assumption that there was someone out there with a gun and I understand there was some type of dispute that happened but it wasn't a, a firearm involved but that created panic and and so then the story became this disorderly and unruly crowd that was in front of the store so I, I mean this has just had an impact on this community that is going to resonate for a long time and, and you know and I just wonder at some point Will someone or some group of people be able to get into that community and say, okay, you know, we we lost this person and that person, but let's see if we can carve something positive out of this and and make things better in the community like uh, Nipsey was trying to do. Mm. You know, I, and, and so, and, and you know, and here's the irony, you know, here's another, here's another, um, casualty of this thing you know when you talk about collateral damage mm. um his bodyguard um j-rock announced that he he plans to leave the security profession entirely yes um you know because he was just you know and this was according to uh, uh page six but uh according to to j-rock he said never in a million years i thought i would be writing some you know beat like this uh we haven't made a hundred million yet we were supposed to grow old and I call you, and I call you big nose shoot jokes on you all day. But instead, I'm here in tears. This I wish I was there. I would switch places with you any day, mm. and and so forth and so on. And so, you know, he wasn't there, according to the reports. At least that's what Ambiz is sharing with us. So I know that has to weigh on him very heavily because he's probably wondering if I was there. This would it might have not been have different? Happened. It would have been different. I could have done X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. and, right. um, but it's just, you know, again, uh, Thin Bad and Ambezi, you know, I, I just keep thinking back on all of the folks. Now, here, here's the interesting thing. This brought a lot of things to light. But think about it. In Baltimore and Chicago and Los Angeles and, and big St. Louis, Kansas City, Miami, all over the country, big cities, these types of things are happening, you know, on a weekly basis and some places on a daily basis. Daily, right. And and this would and this type of of situation may not have received this kind of attention, the brazenness, the cold bloodedness, had it not been for a person of his status. But again, you you have to ask yourself, what is being done to deal with the causative factors of this nonsense? That's that's the question that I have, then bad. Yeah, and and what what drives it? Um, you know, Ambezi talked about clout chasing. Um, that's you know that that's certainly there. People trying to, in some sick way, make a name for themselves. But how short sighted is that? You know, because it doesn't it doesn't stop. It you know, it, violence kind of begets violence. You know, someone's you know, the the, the one thing that that I noticed here with this particular uh, rapper, they, they still haven't found, at least they found out who it was who did it and they knew who did it. They, they're arresting somebody. So it's going to get, uh, uh, you know, some attention, but there's so many other rap uh, murders where they still haven't solved cases. Uh, no one's still been found. So, um, but I, you know, I just don't understand what, what is, what would drive someone to that point and maybe we won't know that or maybe that will come out later investigate now that they have you know person in in custody you know they'll get to 
uh, what the story is or what happened, what transpired. So it, it'll come out. But still, I, I don't think there's anything that's going to come out that would justify what happened. Uh, and I don't know how you, you, you know, where you, where do you start to undo, uh, to deprogram all the craziness and then kind of reprogram what it is, um, you know, that, that ought to be there. Well, I tell you, we, we already received a, um, some feedback from the chat and Gina was sharing with us, as long as we continue to elevate disrespect as an art form, be it women against women or man against man, this kind of violence will be the norm. If this man thinks he is a better man because he killed Nipsey Hussle, it's not something he thought of on his own. We taught him that. That's that's powerful stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it does. Yeah. I mean, you know, children aren't aren't born that way, so they do right. learn. Uh, they learn from us, or 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 they learn in the void that we leave uh, by not paying attention or being too busy or neglect um abuse you know other things um they they learn what they learn and they they move on from there you know mental illness i think always rears its head somewhere uh in any of this stuff well i just think that you know somebody said it while all of this was breaking and i forget which rapper it was but the gist of it was when you are somebody who comes from gang violence or you're you're an entertainer or a rapper the more good you do the bigger target you have on your back and excuse me oh my allergies are terrible bless you bless you oh it's that time of the year get her out of here (laughs) but um you have a target on your back and the reason why okay wait well i think the <laughs> I, I think ambiz is trying to make the point that the more that you try to do in the community sometimes it makes you a bigger target right and right, right. the reason why i always bring it back to clout chasing is because to do something like this is almost like wearing a medal now Mind you, this guy messed up because this was actually somebody that people have respect for. Right. But, I mean, I look at my DJ who I work with every day, DJ Thump. When he was growing up, after he um, after he had graduated college and everything, he was shot at close range like 11 times. And as well as his fiance by somebody who just did it so that he could get initiated into his gang so that he could show somebody, hey, I killed somebody. And this is something it's just like um, the chief said. This is something that goes on in communities all the time, but it takes something like this for people to start talking about it again. Well, you know, we have the we, we have the glorification of of the gang culture, that whole gang mentality that sometimes contributes to this thing. You know, for example, Thin Bad, we've seen the videos and we've watched the TV shows, you know, your Nino Brown type things and, you know what I mean, uh, your Empire types where it's like, hey, man, you know, you don't, you don't come at me. You know, you don't right. disrespect me. If you try to disrespect me, you come at me or my family, I'm, I'm going to blow you out of your sneakers. And, Scarface mentality. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So, you know that that and and quite frankly, that sells stuff, and you know that makes for very interesting television. It makes for very interesting movies, and you know sometimes a very short life. It, it, it really does. And so, you know, when when you're sort of of um, glorifying that, you know, it, it it sort of makes it difficult for those that are generally trying to change that whole, you know machismo attitude that both men and women have, you know, in terms of, you know, how am I going to, you know, communicate with you when I have an issue with what you said? You know, do I do I try to talk through it? Do we try to work it out? Or do I just go in the back of my car and bring my 45 out and, and as they say in the street, stop busting caps? Right. You know, right. It, it, it's it's a it's a very, very challenging perspective. 
Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, again, and, and how do you, where do you begin uh, to 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 wrangle with this thing? Um, you know, it's just because as we've said, it, it's it's ongoing. Uh, it happens all the time, uh, unfortunately, uh, and it happens uh, to the point where where people at some point are, are de- become desensitized. Um, and and they're like, well, they hear something else, and, and every now and then, when there's someone who of note, uh, whether it be someone uh, that we may not know, but someone who is known in the neighborhood, um, you know, that kind of thing uh, gets out, and people get shaken up for a minute, but but then it's it's business as usual. Um, you know, all of these all of these things kind of just continue on. I don't know I don't know what has to happen for people to you know to kind of pull together enough to, to be able to, to, to break this stuff up. Um, it's, it's, it's going to take more than just one thing. There is no magic bullet, uh, no pun intended. Um, but there's, there's got to be a, a, you know, it's, it's everything and everything else that has to be done. It's no one thing. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's disheartening. It's disheartening. Actually. I mean, I was, I, I was already a little bothered, you know, by the situation when I first heard about it. And then uh, to hear when Am Beasy, or I should call her Am Sneezy, um, exactly. <laughs> went, went, went through this and kind of laid out the details. It just kind of it kind of hit me again. Um, and then you have people, you know, who are filming it <laughs> and someone had released or, or, or posted a, a video somewhere of it, you know, going the, the the actual killing, so that you, you know, you get used to seeing. It. it used to be, you know, used to be able to just watch the news. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, exactly. Now, now, exactly. now you can't even watch the news. You got, I gotta hide my kid from the news, um, because things are just, you know, all over the. All, people are, are posting craziness, things that are just as crazy. Um, you know, that are happening day to day are um, I, the people's reaction and response is, is kind of bothersome too. On the one hand, you're like, mm, if they hadn't videotaped it, we wouldn't see it. And then it's like, well, did I really want to see it? Uh, but then at the same time, the videotaping of, of things, you know, infractions by police officers and you know, other folks would not have come to light were it not for someone videotaping, you know, if we go all the way back to California to Rodney King, you know, that kind of thing. Things come up. So I don't know. I just sometimes you think throw the camera down and go help somebody. But, you know, I don't know. In that case, when someone's got a gun and evidently no one else out there had a gun but this guy. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you do. I'm just I'm kind of at a loss. Well, I, I guess my question too, Thin Bad, is where was the outrage now for example you know when you when you looked at the Rodney King situation and you looked at at Freddie Gray and you looked at um you know the situation out in Ferguson uh within you know minutes and hours after that there were people out in the streets just demanding a change and 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 you know rightfully so when the community feels that 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 they've been wronged and and I just can't imagine that you don't feel you've been wronged when you have a person that just Literally walked up to a guy. Now we obviously we don't know all the details at this point because we're not handling the investigation. But literally walked up to this guy who was trying to do some great things in the community, as as we are hearing from the media, and killed him. And I, I don't see people just hey saying you know enough of this nonsense. You know we're, we're sick of it. You know I, I don't feel that intensity. Now you know I saw the vigil, and and you you know you know people were out trying to find this guy so obviously they weren't accepting that whole stop snitching thing but i'm just looking at the community as a whole where where is the outrage that people are like you know enough of this this is this has gone on long enough i don't know i don't know uh and and, I, and to be fair i don't know there, there there may be that outrage you know in in california you all are closer to that side that side of the country sure. um you may be 
you know, uh, 